Howdy. How are you doing? So in this video, I just felt inclined to uh, release the messages from your spirit guides. I always talk about your spirit guides, ancestors, and all that in my normal general and love readings. And I figured why not just start doing some spirit guide messages as well for the zodiac sign. So, hey girl. Hello, my beautiful Pisces. How are you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today I'm going to be doing your urgent spirit guide messages through tarot. So. I also do, Pisces, your weekly general tarot reading as well as your weekly you versus them tarot reading between you and your person, which I'll leave links to both of those over here for you to check out at a later point, Pisces, if you would like. But when it comes to any of my tarot readings, be sure to rely on your intuition, Pisces, because I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you. Put it in perspective, right? Uh, you know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the cards that resonate, Pisces, and leave what doesn't, because I promise you I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever, I promise you. And if you find some cards that resonate with you, Pisces, I would love to hear about it in the comments below. Let me know which card calls out to you the most and how it does, because that's how we keep up with y'all. And then also, Pisces, I would appreciate it for you to take the extra time to give this channel a like and subscribe if you do find some cards that resonate with you, because it does help out my channel a lot, and I always am super appreciative when you guys take that extra moment to do that for me. Um, to support my tarot readings, right? Um, and then before we get into this reading, Pisces, I just want to remind you that with any of my tarot readings, they're just here to give you some perspective, some food for thought to consider as you go throughout your week, as you go throughout your life, right? These tarot cards are not meant to make a decision in your life because ultimately it's your life to live, not mine. So keep that in mind. So now Pisces, let's just get into these messages for you. I pull, ah, I did this for your son. I forgot, I did this for, um, cancer sign as well i forgot to get some oracle cards for you guys uh so just give me a moment uh real quick pisces while i get these out for you i'll start talking about the first one though we have the horse spirit coming in for you number 33 uh this is i would say normally i usually combine them to the singular digit pisces but i do feel drawn to just suggest you to look up the number three for numerology i don't feel like it's going to be six for you uh so look that up to later to see how it correlates with this reading for you but the horse spirit talks about for, uh freedom being yours this is kind of like a it's interesting when you have it in this type of dynamic of messages pisces just because it's almost like your spirit guides are trying to push you to do something obviously right freedom is yours but it's almost like you're putting these restraints on yourself or maybe something's even happening maybe there's like this sense of this need to remind you that you are in control of your own life that you are the magician right in in regards to tarot and then we have the kiwi card yeah this is making sense honey uh pisces this card says you are walking meditation each day for the next week actually um, I don't mind me, Pisces. I have used this deck for God, several years now at this point, a few years. And I don't think, I think I've obviously had to pull this card before, but I don't remember it being worded like this. Regardless, Pisces, I'm taking this, especially with this other animal card of where it's just like, I feel like you need to put something in perspective, Pisces. Maybe you've been going through some transitional phases right now, Pisces, where you've had to let go of a lot. You've had to release a lot, a release a lot. And maybe you're just dealing with some chaos, perhaps. And you're in the state of where, <laughs> don't mind me, it's like, I know some like small chunks. I have this giant tourmaline thing, and you know, there's like some uh, bits that came out. So I was like trying to blow it off. So things that no one cares about. <laughs> um, it almost just feels like though that you are just so busy uh, kind of just trying to survive each day, which is not a bad thing at all, right? Which are all, we're all trying to survive, honey. But it does, I do just get the sense of where you might be taking life a little bit too seriously, Pisces. And now don't shoot the messenger, honey. I know that, I mean, I'm not trying to be dismissive of y'all's experiences whatsoever, trust me. But I do feel like you, because you've been in this like survival mode for a while now, Pisces, you kind of have lost sight of your own freedom. You kind of have lost sight of something where you kind of just need to, a reminder, need, you need to maybe even just take a break, take a breather, obviously with the Kiwi card where you just meditate. There is this push, truly, Pisces, for my Pisces that are not connecting with their spirit guides or their arc and whatever you subscribe to. There definitely is this push for you to start communicating with them because that's kind of like the goal, essentially, when it comes to meditation is trying to connect with 
source trying to connect with whatever it is you subscribe to right or even just quieting your mind but we have this priestess card coming in here as well and i always associate the priestess the high priestess as an individual Pisces who I view the high priestess having a connection to the otherworldly realm, the spiritual realm, whereas the Hierophant, I see that as more in tune with your higher self. So, and especially when, because like your spirit guides and all of that, um, they communicate through your intuition usually, right? And it's not the only way, but that's most commonly known for. And so when you have this card, it's like, it's almost like they're trying to be like, hey, like meditate, start connecting with us. They have some messages for you outside of this tarot message, obviously, right? Maybe you just need to put some, like, especially with the page of pentacles next to this card as well. Pisces, this is the card of communication. So there's definitely, it's, my Pisces, there just definitely is a very strong presence trying to get your attention spiritually. So um, for my Pisces that are open to that kind of thing spiritually, of connecting to their spirit guides or guardian angels and all that, I really do feel positively in the results that you would get should you start trying to communicate with them. Because you have the Hermit card as well. There does, like, this common theme with these messages so far for you, Pisces, has just truly been about being by yourself a little bit. Being by yourself, thinking things through, about, you know, kind of like quieting your mind almost. Even with the Hermit, you could argue the Hermit's in that state of meditation during this time because there's no distractions, it's quiet. I mean, presumably it'd be quiet. I guess I don't know through a card. But, um... Right? You're just take, taking some time to self-reflect and quieting the mind. You know, just taking a moment to pause again. Um, yeah, I just truly feel so strongly in that. Pisces, for some of you guys, you've been in this Queen of Wands energy. Which, again, isn't I celebrate this card, honey. You'll never see me talk bad about the Queen of Wands. But when you're in that Queen of Wands, when you're in this, like, busy bee mode constantly, Pisces, there does, you know, when you get stuck on, like, go, go, going and constantly trying to uh, elevate yourself and pushing yourself, you can kind of, yeah, it's just, it's just like a natural thing. Like, guess the best, the best example I can use, right? If I just use myself as an example, Pisces, maybe if I just did a bunch of tarot readings um, and I just kind of lost sight because I've been so busy trying to like grow my channel for example and then i lost sight of my own personal spirituality and like why i got into tarot in the first place years ago um i would need that moment to just reset and be like oh this is why i got into tarot right so it's not like i necessarily lost sight of tarot um it's just that i lost like perhaps like my passion essentially if i were to use that as an example right it's not the case obviously but it's that kind of sense um tower card did come out for you now Pisces, hmm, I'm actually going to pull some cards on this to get a little bit of an understanding on why this is here. Pisces, is this something that you've already gone through or is this something that's coming? Page of Pentacles is following you. Lots of Pentacle energy. Okay. A lot to take in, honey. <laughs> All right, Pisces, let's get into this. So for your tower card, I was just like, what's going on here? Did you already experience it? For the majority of you, I do get the sense you've already experienced it. And that's probably what has made you lose sight a little bit, Pisces, um, because you've been having to like, you've been on survival mode. You've been in this recovery mode from this tower moment, whatever that tower moment looks like for you. Then it's because you've been in the mode or just like picking up the pieces and like clearing out the rubble um you haven't really had time to heal right four of swords comes in again this four of swords is like that self-reflection that meditation to heal right you're you're constantly getting cards pisces talking talking about a little bit more introverted energy talking about or covering the sense of just being by yourself separating yourself from the noise same with this one in the name of healing um page of pentacles as i was saying is reach following you throughout this so if it's not a spear guide i'm gonna be here like i'm not i don't want to pigeonhole this page of pentacles this line of communication in such a way where it's just communication but if it's not a spear guide coming in there's definitely something or someone trying to communicate with you really wanting to badly pisces um 
I do just get, I really am going to stick to my guns though. I do feel like there's just such a push for people's spirit guides and as for Pisces to really connect with your spirit guide, whether it's through dream work, whether it's through meditation, I just, this is really coming in strongly for that. And I didn't do that. I didn't say that for any of the other signs, Pisces. Um, you have eight of pentacles and the king of pentacles. There's definitely something here to learn, Pisces. I definitely feel like there's something here. There does seem to be this sense, Pisces, of where... Let's pull a couple more cards. <laughs> because I don't, I, I have an idea what this is about, but I don't want to like just flat out say it. Yeah, all right. So I guess I will have to. <laughs> so I pulled the Six of Cups here. And there was this theme here when I was kind of like looking at this Four of Swords and I was like, mm, honey, what are you healing from? What are you having to just whatever, right? Because this Tower moment, I was just like, okay, like I feel like most of you have already gone through this transitional period and you just are in the process of picking up the path, the wrecked pieces. But I do get this sense of where <sighs> it's almost like <sighs> this tower moment was connected with a person, Pisces. And it's almost like they were probably probably responsible for this tower moment where you had a tower moment with this person. And it's through this like experience with them that you're trying to overcome it. You're trying to heal through it, right? I don't know if you are still talking to this person or you're forgiving them. It's not what this reading is about. But I do get this sense of through that tower experience with them, the Six of Cups, it lets me know of a history with some type. You have some type of history with the person. Um, I get this sense that you kind of, we'll just say that you were hurt by this person but it kind of puts you in this place of where you probably let go of them um regardless of the result of what happened between you and your person this is the end result of what what you accomplish because of it king of pentacles along with the sun card beautiful cards to have right because this is all about like the sun card is the best card in the deck right i always i feel like i always say that exact line every time the sun comes forward because it is um and I feel like it leads you, whatever that tower, this tower moment is, with something that you've had a long-standing history with. It doesn't have to be a person. It can be an event, but I do feel like it's a person, honestly. I feel like it, like, the events that causes leads you to further stability in your life that you weren't aware of before. Um, there does just, yeah, it does seem to be, like, just, like, this constant theme of, like, separating yourself from energy and just being to yourself and exposing, like, not exposing yourself to outside energies and just really being in a state of reclusiveness right now, not allowing outside energies to influence your decisions or your mind on, like, where it is that you want to go and what it is that you're trying to accomplish. So now we go through all that, my Pisces. Let's see what we have to look forward to for Pisces. What do we have? What does Pisces have to look forward to in the near future? Let's see here. Do a quick bridge <laughs> all right pisces let's see here king of pentacles is following you honey with the ten of wands and the five of swords all right so i feel like this is still kind of taking after this first message that we had here um especially with that king of pentacles coming in uh twice for you pisces it, it's kind of reaffirming the messages from before of like that tower moment. This is what that tower moment takes care of, is taking care of. This is how you get to that King of Pentacles experience by addressing whatever it is that's been in your mind. You know, with this Five of Wands, this is that anxious card in your head. Um, this could be a person whispering something in your ear, influencing you, right? Um, again, like you get the card that actually is talking, but like, the one card that you come in, that comes in where it's talk, like, includes other energies. It's the one where it's just, like, not a good influence and that's actually, like, weighing you down, right? Especially with this Ten of Wands, it's weighing you down. It's the baggage card. Um, there, it's just reaffirming, like, the le letting go of whatever this ca is causing you this initially brings you forth to a much more stable energy, Pisces. So, really, I mean, I'm going to be blunt, Pisces, right? As I always am when it comes to my readings. 
you're definitely, <laughs> there's a lot of good coming for you, but this, you don't get to the sun moment just through walking, honey. There's definitely some obstacles that you have to overcome. There's definitely some bumps on the road that you're going to be dealing with. Um, but you can take pleasure in the fact by the end of this tunnel, this dark tunnel, that you will definitely have your sun moment. You'll definitely have a lot more stability in your life, even if things right now feel extremely unstable right now, which naturally it would, especially with that tower card. Nothing's going to feel stable. Everything's coming apart for you, right? Um, I feel like this is just one of those like rough transitional phases for you, Pisces, that's kind of essential for you to get to where you need to go. Spirit of Cups. This is bringing forward, I mean, the card itself even says uh, creative opportunity, right? The Spirit of Cups, I believe, is Page of Cups um, in normal to Rome. So this is like going into like a new beginning, right? And I feel like that kind of is self-explanatory just because of the Tower card, right? Usually there's a closure or something to open up to some like a new um, beautiful beginning. But I feel like that's just kind of what you need to remind yourself of, Pisces, of just being like, you're going through all this just in the name of having like new opportunity come forward to you king of honey this is the third time that the king of pentacles has followed you king of rings which is pentacles in this deck king of pentacles is really honing in for you where it's just like this new beginning is like a st leading you to stability i feel like that's probably what a lot of you pisces have been craving for this message to be repeating itself over and over and over and over and over again Pisces, it feels like a lot of you guys are just craving stability it doesn't seem like you're necessarily craving anything in specific like you're not craving i mean obviously who doesn't want some extra financial help right or love and all that but it seems to be like really all that you're asking for is just to be able to like take a moment to breathe and just not feel like the world like the ground beneath you is going to crumble and fall apart you're just looking to have something stable and i i mean like, because stability is what you get for sure with king of pentacles coming out so many times for you uh pisces so take pleasure in that you're definitely lead you're definitely on the path towards stability it is going to feel a little bit unstable for a little bit longer but i do like for the king of pentacles to keep coming out over and over and over and over and over again for you pisces i mean like come on now like <laughs> you, you've gotten king of pentacles in every possible way besides the mystical manga deck which i mean we can pull just a couple cards just to see if he comes out just for the <laughs> fun of it but i don't know if there's like really any other messages in this reading i feel like this is just like a you're on the path towards stability and that's that so let's see Three more cards to close this out. We have the Lover's card, the Ace of Cups, and then the Five of Wands. So, yeah, this is kind of like the same message over again, uh, Pisces, where it's just like through this conflict, because that's what the Five of Wands represents is conflict, um, leads to big decisions be being made in your life, which ultimately leads you to your cup filling over where you feel fulfilled where your heart opens up you're finally going to have a moment where you can breathe pisces very very soon i promise you so thank you so much a lot for allowing me to do this reading for you pisces i really enjoyed myself doing this um if you did enjoy this reading i would really appreciate for you to give me a like and subscribe and then share my videos with a friend that you think might be into my videos until next time pisces i love you so much bye